Introduction to Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Compute. Hi, what can you tell me about the Oracle Cloud Compute services? Using Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Compute, you can provision and manage compute hosts. These managed compute hosts are called instances. After you launch an instance, you can access it securely from your computer, restart it, attach and detach volumes, and terminate it when you're done with it. Can you please tell me about instances? What are the characteristics? An instance is defined by its machine image and shape. A machine image is a virtual hard disk that has a specific operating system installed. A shape defines the number of CPUs, RAM, disk resources, and network resources available to an instance. What type of compute services does Oracle offer? Cloud compute instances are available in two main groups. Virtual machines, VMs, and bare metal machines, BMs. Besides the standard option, both groups have a dense I.O. option for high-performance local NVMe SSD storage. Both groups are also available with NVIDIA Tesla GPUs, Pascal, or Volta for HPC workloads. Oracle offers bare metal instances that provide you complete control of the physical host or bare metal machine. These are fully isolated, single-tenant environments where the only workload that's running is your workload. There are two main reasons to use bare metal instances. Bare metal instance is ideal for workloads that require uncompromising performance of bare metal servers without any overhead of virtualization from the hypervisor. It is also ideal for applications that demand stringent compliance and regulatory requirements. I have heard that bare metal servers offer choice regarding operating systems. Is that right? Yes, it offers a wide variety of pre-configured images as well as the option to bring your own image. It is ideal for both legacy and modern workloads. The Bring Your Own Image, BYOI, feature enables lift and shift cloud migration projects, supports both older and cutting-edge operating systems, encourages experimentation, increases infrastructure flexibility. Is the bare metal instance Equipped to handle all workloads, from web applications to big data? Yes, of course. You can customize the bare metal instance to suit specific functions. Standard instances can be used for a wide variety of high-performance and compute-intensive workloads, such as web servers, batch processing, and distributed analytics. Dense I.O. instances are configured with up to 51.2 terabytes of local NVMe storage and are ideal for extreme transactional workloads that work on large data sets and require low latency and high throughput, such as big data and high-performance compute HPC applications. Alternately, if you need a certain amount of compute resource to run a workload, but you don't want to buy dedicated machines for that, you can use a virtual machine. Does a VM come in different shapes? Yes, there are two VM shapes, standard and dense I.O. A shape defines the number of Oracle compute units, OCPUs, and the amount of RAM available for a VM. Each VM shape has a different number of processor cores, amount of memory, and disk configuration, so you can easily select a size that matches the needs of your application. Standard VM compute shapes are great for general-purpose workloads, providing a balance of cores, memory, and network resources. Dense I.O. VM compute shapes are backed by NVMe SSDs and are better suited for resource-intensive workloads, such as large databases and big data applications like Apache Spark and Hadoop. Additionally, Oracle Cloud Infrastructure now provides a GPU-accelerated cloud platform optimized for deep learning and scientific computing that reduces computation times from days to hours. Instances are available as both virtual machines and bare metal, providing flexibility and performance 
at a fraction of the cost of other public cloud providers. The available GPU shapes are given in the table. When you select a shape for your VM, consider the nature of applications that you'll deploy on the VM, the number of users that you expect to use the applications, and how you expect the load to scale in the future. Remember to also factor in the CPU and memory resources that will be consumed by the operating system running on the VM. I now have a fairly good idea about bare metal as well as virtual machines, and I think I'm ready to start with an instance. How do I go about it? You can create a single instance using the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Web Console. You need an administrator account in order to be able to create and manage instances. For access control, you can generate and assign an SSH key pair, or you can launch the instance in a VCN with security lists. How much CPU and memory can I assign to an instance? The number of CPUs and RAM allocated to an instance is determined by the shape that you select while creating the instance. Do I have the option of using custom images? Yes. You can bring your own image to the platform and use it to launch instances. What can I install on the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure instances? You can deploy any application, Oracle or third-party. That's supported on the operating system included in the machine image that you used to create the instance subject to the licensing and support terms of the vendor of that application. And now, let me show you how to create a compute instance. You will need an administrator account in order to create, configure, and launch your instance. With each round of UI updates, there might be different or additional fields that may need to be filled out. Please ensure proper initialization. Log in to your Oracle Cloud Infrastructure account. Click the Unified Navigation menu on the top left corner. Choose Compute and, within that, Instances. Note that you can create an instance only within a predefined compartment. You will need to create a new compartment or choose from compartments that you have created earlier. The compartment is a way of collecting related cloud resources, so it helps with the governance of your overall cloud account. Click the Create Instance button on the Instances page. Enter the name for the instance and select from the options in each field. Oracle Cloud Infrastructure is hosted in Regions and Availability Domains. A region is a localized geographic area, and an availability domain is one or more data centers located within a region. You can also choose between an Oracle-provided image or custom image a custom image is an image of the boot volume of this instance. This custom image can then be used to launch any number of other virtual or bare metal instances. Click Change Image Source to choose. Choose your image and click Select Image. A shape defines the number of CPUs, RAM, disk resources, and network resources available to an instance. You have the option of resizing the boot volume as well as enabling encryption using key management. Finally, you must enter the SSH key. You have the option of using a previously generated SSH key from your local machine. To learn more about generating the SSH key, refer to Oracle documentation. You can access the documentation by clicking the question mark on the top right of your console dashboard. Select Documentation. On the Documentation page, you can either search by entering your query into the search box or by selecting the topics listed. Entering a query in the search box will lead you to the search results page where you will find multiple resources listed. To continue with creating the instance, you will need to have created a compartment and a virtual cloud network VCN within it before you create the instance. A VCN is just a virtual extension of the topology in your data center. If you haven't created one already, a VCN will be created in the compartment by default. Subnets are subdivisions within a VCN. Subnets act as a unit of configuration within the VCN. 
Now, click the Create button. After a brief provisioning window, your instance will be up and running. From this page, you can stop, reboot, or even terminate the instance as required. Thanks for the detailed walkthrough. You're welcome. Please go to the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Portal to learn more. Be sure to sign up for the free trial and get started right away.